What's going on guys? I have a little cup battle here uh, against my friend the Canadian Wi-Fi. It was a really good game, so um, I personally would recommend um, stay until the end because the end is quite interesting in my opinion. Um, also, I've been thinking of upgrading to the YouTube One thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about that. Just because I suck at making backgrounds and I'm too shy to ask people to make backgrounds for me. Uh, regardless, this is the team preview. Um, this is the first Little Cup team I made, ever, and uh, the Canadian Wildfires team looks pretty threatening. It's got the amazing core of Chin Chow and Fungus, has a Mianfu and an Abra, so this team's gonna be really threatening. Um, but one thing I see is that it doesn't have any steel types, which means that Scarf Doduo really gets to his team, um, especially since he only seems to have one Scarfer, and that one Scarfer is actually outsped by um, Scarf Doduo, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, there are two Pokemon that I really don't know what they do, them being Horsey and Ponyta, um, but I assume from watching his uh, the Canadian Wildfire's videos that that Horsey probably has Smokescreen. Uh, unfortunately, there's really not much I can do about that, but whatever. Uh, let's just get right onto the battle. Also, yes, I am Thing One, and he's Thing Two. Just saying. So I'm gonna lead off with my mischievous as he leads off with his Chinchou. The fact that he outsped me uh, should have um, signaled to me that he was Scarf, but um, I didn't think anything of it. So I just set up a sub as he switches into his Fungus. Um, also, just don't ask about the name. I really don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, um, here I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp because I thought that he would predict my sub and go for a Giga Drain, but he actually spores, which actually ends up being a good thing um, because it means that the rest of my team um, can stay awake. So I'm going to switch into my Porygon. I trace his Regenerator, which is nice, so that he doesn't. Er, so if he like crits me or anything, I can just switch out. Here I actually set up an Agility, and he clear smogs me right away. So that was funny, but really annoying. Um, but I, it doesn't really matter because I can just switch and get the regenerator boost. Um, and I switched into probably the most threatening thing I have, which is my Doduo. And now, really, something just has to die. Um, I, I'm gonna go for a return instead of a Brave Bird here because I know that he has that Chinchow, and that Chinchow will easily be 2 it KO'd because it's Scarf and not a Violet. Um, but anyway, he's just gonna switch into his Horsey. I'm gonna go for a return, it actually ends up being a 3 hit KO, which is a little annoying, and he does reveal the smoke screen, which is really annoying, but um, he actually goes for a rest here, I was just trying to find something to switch into, um, and that's great because it gives me a safe switch into my uh, Abra. Now this set I actually um, mess messed up on uh, the move set, so it actually has both Psychic and Psyshock. But that actually ends up being beneficial because I can see that he's physically defensive and just kill him off with a side shock here. He goes into his abro an abro of, an, of his own. That thing's actually really threatening to my team, um, so I'm just gonna let him kill off this one here. He reveals the energy ball, so now I'm like, oh no, what the hell am I gonna do? This thing's gonna destroy my whole team. Oh no, he's gonna psychic my foot. Oh, I lived. Well done. Um, <laughs> that's. That was probably the um, most game-changing uh, play in this, because it means that I can put his Abra to sleep. Here, um, I assume that he has Flash Fire, and I assume that he's going to go for a Fire move, so I'm going to go into my Porygon, trace his Flash Fire. Um, so, yeah, that I, I gotta say, like I was kind of proud of that play, to be honest. But I'm going to set up an Agility on his Switch, and um, all of a sudden, this thing became a threat. I'm going to Ice Beam his um, Fungus. Unfortunately, uh, he seems to have a lot of priority on his team, which means that this thing won't be able to do much, but at the same time, it will be able to KO a Fungus, and that thing is way too bulky for, like, everything. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in and let Porygon die, just to see what kind of set he is, if he's, like, Scarf or Fake Out or, uh, whatever. He is actually Fake Out, but because he wasted his Fake Out, um, I can go into my, um, Doduo to a KO that Abra, bring it down to its sash, and now it's just kind of like taking the fizzy route and brave birding everything, so yeah, that's gonna die. He's gonna go into his Mianfu. Because he has a Ponyta around, I know Fungus won't be doing anything, so I'm just gonna let that die. Um, actually, funnily enough, a uh, high jump kick's actually gonna kill me, but 
still, uh, just gonna go right back into my Doduo and uh, start Brave Birding some more. And I actually get a crit, I don't think that mattered because I'm pretty sure his Ponyta is choiced, but um, that brings me down to 10%. He goes back into his Mianfu, and I'm going to have to uh, let my Mischievous die because I can't risk him killing my Doduo. So I'm just gonna let the thing die. Uh, he's gonna go for a Stone Edge, that's easily gonna kill me. And now, um, I don't want to risk uh, return not killing, so I'm going to have to go for a Brave Bird. Kill him, but at the same time, I'm going to die to my own recoil, making this a tie. So, whew, man, that was quite a game. Um, yeah, good game, Takaura. That was very fun. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see if I can try and upload a PO Live. I don't know, I really like recording those, and I haven't uploaded one in a while. But like I said, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys later. See ya.